really loud. Why is that so loud? Is it loud? Does tell me what's up, Niji? Let me know if it's loud, because holy shit, to me it sounds a little loud. Not loud? Okay. Do you want it louder? Okay, we need to fucking get rid of this song. Um, what should we fucking what should we replace the song with? The Nathal song? Which song is that? Oh, the Nathal song. You're talking about the uh, raid? Um, yeah, it's a good one. <clears throat> God damn, my connection is still like not, uh, not steady. Uh, I'm tired. I'm so tired of To The Edge. <coughs> I think Revelation is the Ravana one. Yep, it is. I mean, I'll put that on for now. I just don't want to hear the Leviathan one anymore. Uh, not really. I'm missing so many of them. I've also been playing a hell of a lot longer than you. <coughs> I found that yesterday. I've been playing for six years. Oh, yeah. Game has a playlist. You have to collect all the songs. I mean, like these ambient ones, you just pick up from a vendor. Oh yeah, it has only been your first year, huh? Okay. So here's here's the issue for tonight. Um We have to go do fucking dumb shit. We'll have to go so we have to go to Limsa. <clears throat> First, that's bad enough. For six months, you only operate. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, at least you got through the story pretty quickly. Oh, uh, wrong button. Oh, right here. <coughs> so, I was doing this story the other night I streamed, and ugh, it's fucking. I don't like it. It's boring. I don't even want to read. All I know is that it's going to tell me right now is that, oh, I'm going to go meet with someone. Who fucking cares? I'll go find out. Like. So if you don't, I don't know if, if you've played the, this, this part of the story in EG, it's, um, it's the class quest or the role quest, uh, for Endwalker. And like, this one's so boring. You just get sent off to do a uh, fucking diplomacy bullshit. Like, yeah, you do a little bit of fighting. <clears throat> they all suck. I heard some were good, but. This first one ain't fucking, like, it ain't doing anything for me. <laughs> like, cool, okay, Merlweb, we get to go hang out with her, but it's literally just fucking diplomacy. No, it's not the same for all jobs. They're different. 
Thank you for coming, Enrica. The situation is grim. The crashing tide plundered one of our trading ships and seized the go uh, godly stash of all Gomorra crystals. Did it? Well, all right. So, <clears throat> yeah, like it's the end of the fucking world, right? And like, yeah, it's just oh, let's just go play with diplomacy. Like, fuck that. No, all right. So, all the tank ones are the same. There's only one. Right, so it doesn't matter if you're playing as Pally, Warrior, or, or Gunbreaker. You get the same quest line. And you only play it once. You don't have to do it twice. You don't have to do it three times total. Uh, so it's Tank. And then the Healers. Then the Melee DPS. And then the Range DPS. I think the Physical Range DPS have their own. And the Magical Range DPS have their own. Good Al Amigo. It's basically just making the people that didn't make an appearance... The expansion making a p yeah basically I know Gusetsu comes up comes back for it. <clears throat> Though their aim is clear, it appears they lack quality needed to perform the summoning. Dell longs for the days where every Sahagan cried out for Lord Leviathan's deliverance and will stop at nothing to see them return. I cannot fathom what the crushing tide are thinking, what satisfaction, what happiness can be found in giving over uh, their hearts and minds to a false god. <clears throat> and so we must thwart their design. Lest the bonds we have forged be forever broken. By the same token, we cannot link, uh, ignore the blasphemy nor the transformations its presence may bring about. A battle on two fronts. Also, <coughs> let me. Here's the thing. This fucking story, this this little quest line here, it does not have a at any moment so far, the weight that the MSQ did. <clears throat> now, Dreamer hasn't played through most of A Realm Reborn, so doesn't know so much about the game. So I'm going to leave out a lot. But there are very there are several moments in the MSQ of Endwalker where shit looks bad. And we, we find out through uh, in Endwalker that the Blasphemies are created when people um, like feel like ultimate despair basically like you know like you're about to lose your house because you can't make any money kind of despair like your family is going to be left out uh, <clears throat> you know on the um, on the streets you're not you're not you're not sure how you're going to eat that kind of despair right like some bad shit or your family is or, or like your family has died. Some really messed up stuff. Uh, and that's how the blasphemies become blas. That's because what happens is they 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 get go through this depression. They don't know how they're gonna get out of it, and because they've essentially given up, they become the blasphemies. Dreamer, you'll figure out. You'll find out more about that later. But, like, when these two fuck, like, in the quest before this, when these two fuckers... Oh, I didn't even put up Henrika, did I? My bad. He's here. Alright. <clears throat> there we go. When the two fucking guards... Uh, because you do, like, a little... Yeah. Right. I see. Alright, whatever. Um. When you go... When you do the diplomacy and the guy brings his guards... And he's like, <clears throat> no, we're not going to fucking go along with this. Whatever bullshit, I barely remember because it sucked. His two guards are like, oh, God, we're not, we're never going to get our spawning grounds back. Like, nothing's going to fucking work out here. And it's like, really? And then well, they turn into blasphemies. And it's like, really? Like, that's, that's what did it for these guys? <laughs> like... <laughs> They're fighting like for the spawning grounds back and diplomacy goes bad and then they just become depressed. And they it just it just isn't sold well. <clears throat> uh, might we return to the three great pirate powers for aid? Let us recruit the yellow jackets to the cause and sell like a job for the for the company of heroes. <coughs> I didn't fucking read, I don't know. Pirate powers. Also, I hate this armor. I need to change it. 
As it happens, I've already enlisted the Executioners, the Krakens, and the Sirens to the cause. I didn't know those were three groups. They've done much to bolster the Maelstrom's efforts to scour the seeds for the blasphemy. So we're, we're to seek reinforcements. We'll have to turn elsewhere, but to whom? Uh, Company of Heroes. It's probably going to make me go through all of the options. Watch. Company of Heroes. Now, that's a name I've not heard in some time. Right. I actually get, remember getting told about this. It's just true that they answered the call many time, uh, many a time. Indeed, other than you and yours, there are going to be none better suited to the task of primal slaying. <clears throat> but they disbanded for over five years ago. Neither hide nor hair has been seen by the commander since. Five years ago? Did someone forget the timeline here? Hold on a minute. Five years after the calamity, the calamity, the kobolds summoned their primal again. In the absence of the company of heroes, the maelstrom asked the signs of Seven Dawn, who had already defeated the primal Ifrit, to deal with Titan. Yerslada and the Warrior of Light search former, search former company members. What? I think that's for information to infiltrate Ogomoro. Ogum they found a man named Tractune. I don't know, who called himself the best axeman of the company of heroes. <clears throat> I'm trying to see, like, yeah, so. I think this is a retcon, sort of ish. I don't know. It doesn't actually say. <clears throat> okay, I'm not like going to go through all of this, but it looks like the company heroes was around during a realm reborn because you do meet them i remember those quests you meet them and merowebs here like oh yeah they disbanded five years ago it's like wait a minute but it's not been five years like the timeline for 14 is kind of fucked up let me see <clears throat> How long ago has it been since the Realm Reborn? <laughs> oh, it doesn't even like fucking give. It doesn't even give dates. Yeah, I don't know. It seems it seems really weird to me. I absent their leader. I suspect we're reluctant to join our cause. <coughs> and yet, I can think of no better option. I'll contact Whiskers, their erstwhile commander's right-hand man, and see if he will not hear us out. Uh, I will ask him to meet us at the Drowning Wench. Let us hope he is receptive to our offer. What offer? We're requesting their help. Uh, no, man, I trust you and your brothers to continue to search for the blasphemy in the meantime. Uh, but of course, that road, should we discover anything, you will be the first to know. God, this is... It's just not fucking interesting. I mean, it's cool that we're going to get to see the company of heroes again, but like... What the fuck, even? So, hall so the Hall of the Novice here, I'll show you. If I remember correctly, like, this is where you meet the Company of Heroes. <clears throat> right here in this place.
Right here. Like, this is the hall of the novice. You can't even get in. Oh, wait. Yeah, you can get in. Never mind. Uh, DPS. I don't even do anything. Oh, this is just a smith. That's no. It's about becoming a men mentor. Yeah, it, this just teaches you the, the game, basically. A little bit. Okay. Anyways. It's weird to hear that they were disbanded five years ago when, like... But what I remember... <coughs> you know, a Realm Reborn all the way to now is not five years. Wait, where, the f where am I supposed to go? Oh, I have to go back to Limsa. What if I don't want to? Yeah, I mean... I don't know. Oh, it's Sammy. N fucking Nicola just locked on, logged on. <clears throat> uh, here's the thing, right? Like... Um, I was very disappointed with that in Walker in the sense that I don't feel they'd had enough like Oh, cool. That's cool Um, they didn't have there wasn't enough like bad shit going on <clears throat> There wasn't enough like Need you need you all know so not to spoil it basically like the second time you're in Razatan and shit's going bad Like to me there wasn't enough of that I feel like we needed a lot more. When you go to the Labyrinthian for the second time, I think we needed less of that. Right, I think going to Labyrinthian the second time was kind of a waste of time because it's not what my character would have done. It's not what I as the Warrior of Light would have done. Because why am I going to go spend time in Labyrinthian where nothing's going on <clears throat> when I could be out like saving people? You know what I mean? And, uh, <clears throat> when people told me that these store, like these side quests will have more of that. I was like, okay, cool. At least there'll be more. And then fucking this. So my apologies for the delay. <sighs> this is fucking lame. Are you alone? What does it matter? All right. So your plea fell on deaf ears. He's going to say no, actually. <clears throat> and here I swore five years ago that I was done playing Hero. Curious Gorge. I think it's Curious Gorge. <coughs> Land, Land Denel. Could someone explain... What this is all about. Believe it or not, I am a respectable man with respectable obligations these days. Bullshit. Take that pole arm out of your ass, old friend. Stop pretending you're not such a murderous bastard at heart. Ooh, that's alright. That's pretty good. Watch that wicked tongue of yours. Let's just cure it and prove you right. Uh, nothing like a reunion with your companions over the bottle. Over a bottle of the wench's finest vintage. That is why we're here. Yeah, fuck off. Brave flocks. Brave Flux, all talks. Uh, who are, who the fuck are these characters? I'm, I'm sure they're characters we would have seen in the Realm of Born. While seeking advice from the Company of Heroes on how to best confront the Primal Titan, along among the many errands they 
they test the of light in preparation for a banquet at Costa del Sol. Is obtained cheese from Brayflux Autox. The fuck? Brayflux has a problem though. Her long stop is currently. Okay, I had a feeling. Her long stop is currently occupied by a dragon named Ayatar. And he isn't willing to share it with Goblin Migrant. Ooh, that's racist, dude. <laughs> Fucking racist ass dragon, dude. Lord of Light must clear out Blade Rocks long stop. Yeah, so the, this, this, so Bray Flox here is the person who gives you the quest for Bray Flox long stop, one of the dungeons. I had a feeling, because the name is pretty fucking obvious. Brayflux Altox is encountered in the Dravanian hinterlands, having an altercation with the Illuminati after the again over the cheese recipe. The Warrior of Light, Alphano, and Yastola help her drive off this uh, assailant so she can visit her friend in Idleshire. Fucking weird. <laughs> the fuck? <clears throat> I'm wondering if any of these. They don't have the info for Endwalker. Uh, thank you for suddenly in such a short notice. Okay, who's who the fuck is this dude? Oh, he gives you quite a few. Oh, uh, Dreamer, you might actually know this guy. He gives you three quests. Oh, no, you don't, because you're not level 31 yet. Never mind. You'll meet this guy eventually. I don't know, like, you know, there's no, like, info on him. <laughs> I just want to see, like, if we, if I actually know any of these characters. I uh, make a simple request. Reform the company heroes and then limp to limits of your strength. <clears throat> oh, it's not yet. Yeah. Uh, you're, you have a reason. I'm sure I would hear it. Oh, I should have looked this guy up. We'll get there soon. Yeah, uh, you're fairly close, I think. Sir, you have it. A terrible fiend known as a blasphemy prowls our seas, transforming the, the Sahagan into a rev uh, ravening beast. At the same time, the Sahagin themselves, specifically a hostile faction calling themselves the Crushing Tide, have declared their intention to summon Leviathan anew. Should they succeed, we would be hard-pressed to deal with the Prima while still dealing, dealing with the other uh, other. I wonder if they treats with threats. All right, right pickle indeed. <clears throat> All right, let's let's look up this guy. In the absence of the company heroes, the Maelstrom asked the Signs of Seven Dawn to do a Titan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is the like the main guy basically. All right, who's is this? <coughs> you can play this guy with triple triad. He gives you one fucking quest. Trial by turtle. Alright, nothing. Just fucking no. I'm not even interested. Oh, your, your commander. He's dead. <clears throat> what if Rika here were to lead you in his stead? Surely you would not question her beliefs. No, don't be shocked. Like, you knew this was coming. An intriguing proposition. I, for one, would not be adverse to serving under such a decorated hero. Uh, noises, noises. Gobby friend has goodly head for fighting, fighty think, and goodly ar Jesus Christ. As ringing an as ringing an endorsement as any, but I would hear it from the woman herself. Do you believe you are capable of leading? Are you fucking serious, dude? Better battle than the banquet. 
If you have this, oh, god damn it, these are actually both pretty good. Shit, which one? Should, which one? No, I think this is funny. If you have the stones to follow me, that's more Enrico's style. Yeah. Now that's the confidence I expect from my commander. Very well then, consider us your, yours to lead. Alright, but we need to work on your fucking glamours, dude. We don't go... We don't go looking like dog shit. Five years to the day, truth be told, I was enjoying the, the more leisurely life. But when booty calls... Wait, before we proceed, I must ask... Have we no way of reaching out to the commander? Forgotten how he took his leave, have we? Up and vanished so we could each find our own way. Apart from him and the company, I doubt we'll see him again. Much as I wish we could. We'll probably see him again. That usually means. So the matter at hand, your mis the mission you will undertake. First, you are to aid us tracking down the blasphemy that roams the sea. Second, you must prevent the crushing tide from summoning Leviathan at all cost. Oh, is that all? And there I thought we might get our feet wet with a real challenge. But in all seriousness, we should take care to decide who attends to what. Fucking bastard. Sounds like a job for your acting commander. I'm sure she'll give it a, all due consideration. I gotta change the fucking armor. I'm not gonna fucking lie. Like, this ain't right. Jesus, dude. Get the f All right. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. <clears throat> the su yeah, it's fucking bright, isn't it? So if I understand this correctly, we're to bring down the so-called blasphemy. Of course, that to do that, we'll need to find the damn thing first. But I've got, also gotten to got to prevent the Christian Tide from summoning their god, Leviathan, a uh, tall order in and of itself. As acting commander, it's your job to decide who will be doing what, based on the skills we each have to- oh shit. I recommend that you start by having a chat with each of us, that you might develop a sense of the strengths and weaknesses, mostly strengths of course, of the- Storied veterans under your command. Oh shit! They all need a. Their weakness. The, every single one has a weakness. They need a walker. Well, maybe not the rogue in, but like, they need a. They, the most of them need a fucking walker or a cane. <clears throat> Especially you ask why well, impaling fiends with this lance of mine. Of course, the stronger the foe, the better. None are a match for me. Bullshit. Did you not even a dragoon? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? You don't even have the dragoon job crystal, you jackass. You fucking... Come on. <laughs> if, uh, it would be folly to waste my talents on dealing with those slippery fishermen. Set me against that so-called blasphemy. I'll have the thing on the skewer before you can say Meryl Whip. I can't say that. Fuck you. You know. That's that's obviously the joke. We're seeing this lane then. <coughs> Wait, what the fuck did you just say? Shit. <laughs> the West Trace sends Landonel uh, send Landon off to the Sahagan and he's like to help them summon a blight on this. Oh, okay. Okay, he's saying like yeah, he'll probably fuck up and actually summon Leviathan by mistake. Uh I will speak plain. I am not s some battle crazed barbarian like Landonel. As none of the you, <sighs> a tribe of peerless hunters, I conduct my affairs with discipline and pr prudence. Uh, as such, I know better than any that to rush headlong into battle is rarely the best course of action. Far wiser it is to observe from afar and proceed with caution. <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah, I don't fucking want to remember. Wait, like... <sighs> So preventing the primal summoning? What if we picked a nun to do the fucking? What if we just all went one direction? Very astute, if I do say so myself. There are a few better suited to the task of averting needless butt bloodshed than the famous circumcised oh, Udon nun. I don't fucking know. Oh, Jesus, it's a fucking potato. As you well know, my vision is somewhat lacking these days. I can still defend myself when necessary, but I'd rather it not come to that. 
My condition also leaves me rather unsuited to scouting, to scouting and searching. What, because you're short and a fucking potato? It wasn't always the case, but such is life. On the other hand, I'd like to think I've gotten quite good at sounding out the intentions of others during negotiations and the like. <clears throat> so he's a diplomat. Yeah, prevent the primal summoning. That's easy. Uh, you have a keen sense for these things. I see more so than reconnaissance or battle. Shamani has a knack for working behind the scenes to see the company's goals achieved. I don't fucking care. This, this is going to be a whole the quest, right? Brave Flux, master remaker of Illuminati treasures, offers much hand landing with ingenuity. Our seen spyglass sees far into the ocean, ocean deep. Uh, ass crack, go boom and blast beast into fucking pieces. Slain the blasphemy. Let's do it. A logical choice, if I do say so myself. Brave Flux, master of tools and armaments, are sure to avail you in tracking and filling the beast. <clears throat> Alright, but like, what if I. What if all of them. <laughs> see that everyone has their assignments? And I dare say the choices you made are not impeccable. If I didn't know better, I think you'd lean us for years. Yeah, fuck off. Like, you made it easy. Now, with that, it is time to get to work. I've procured link pros for, you, for one and all that we can keep in each other. Oh, right, alright, so I don't fucking care. And best be off then. Should we have need to regroup and, or reconsider our strategy call for us? I don't know. Is this actually going to take time? Do I have to, like, level up? I will return to command and share these developments here with the Secretariat and our Sahagan friends. Do join me if you can. Command- Yeah, yeah, shut the fuck up. I was a commander before I ever stepped in Eorzea. Fuck off. I mean, it's just a fucking, <coughs> I want to go fight shit. Yeah, it's, yeah, for reals. Like, it's just a letdown that this is what I have to fucking do. And it's, it's, not, it's not helping that, like, the connection is dog shit, too. I even checked it, and it was, like, good when I started, but now it's just being ass. Like, so many drop frames the worst I'm gonna have to play like something else at some point I know I know like yeah, fuck. see that's the whole quest like not even a single piece of combat like it wouldn't be so bad if the first quest was like holy shit the Sahagin are getting attacked we need to help them uh, and then the second one is like, okay, like, why did they get attacked? Well, it's because, like, these people have turned against them. <sighs> Ironically, like, what if it just mirrored, like, the current situation in, in, um, <sighs> in Ukraine, right? Like, what if that's what it was, right? Like, the so those Hagen are happy. Everything's good now because they've made peace with L uh, Lenosia and Limsa. Uh, but then there's the Sahagin that are like, you know what? Fuck that shit. Like, they're always going to betray us. So we're going to fucking fight with them back. And then the good Sahagin that have made peace, they're like, no, you can't do that. And they try to stop them. And so the bullshit tide, whatever they're called, they're like... Well, fuck you guys. If you're stand going to stand between us, we're going to kill you. And then you start, you have this fight begin. And because you have this fight between, you know, out, like between friends and family, that's what starts them to become, like, turn into blasphemies. They're like, holy shit, like, I just saw uh, my fucking cousin fighting for the bullshit Tide, and he just got fucking skewered by my goddamn neighbor. What the fuck's going on? And that makes them like go crazy. They get depressed. They're like, how like how are we ever going to find peace if there's always someone who's gonna 
gonna fight against us. Uh, and then that's like the first quest, right? That's how it starts. So in the second quest, so in the first quest, you have to go help them. You have to help stop the fighting because the blasphemies have shown up. Second quest is like you discover that and you have to deal with some more blasphemies. That like, that's that would make sense when you have the diplomacy thing. And then this quest could stay the same. Like you could still do the, like we're going to have a group go do this and this. <clears throat> but like, that's not what, it's not even what's going on here. <clears throat> Jesus. Two more quests. Oh, we'll do the question strike again. I'm gonna ask that you deploy the company of heroes at once. Our man, you're out as your signaler. I exactly. Because at least if that beginning had been bam, crazy action, I wouldn't mind there being less going on in the middle. And then we and then it slows down. Yeah, we pick it up on this quest. We'll see how it goes. And in the final, you got this crazy blowout, right? Company Heroes is waiting your orders. How like how laggy is the stream though? Because I'm sure it's pretty bad. And to keep Quay. Both Landau and uh, Udon Noodles should be close by. What are your instructions? Landa knows hot headed warrior who lives for the Dilla battle while Udon Noodles is calm and calculated hunter. It's not bad. Okay, as long as it's not too bad, because like we're at 2,000 drop frames right now, which is really annoying. Now, both can serve you well, but better if assigned to tasks to the skills. <clears throat> Wait, what the? Hmm. Okay. I don't know. So like it didn't even does it not matter what I picked? Because I had the spear boy fight the blasphemy and I had cat boy deal with the summoning. But now it's like, oh, you got to use one. You have to use them both. So like, what are you going to do? And it's like, OK, well, so my choice didn't matter. Is it done, Commander? Oh, fuck. Okay, never mind. I'd rather... I didn't even read. Hold up. Fucking... No, abandon. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Let's redo that one. I just abandoned the quest and we redo it. <clears throat> Okay, send him the crushing tide. And a residence kind of keeps us to safety. I'm going to we'll head there at once. <coughs> I'll tell the Admiral that you and the company of heroes are on your way. But speed. I spent like 40 minutes on a single class. That kind of. Well, it was more like 30. Here we go. Wheelie boy. Or not, the tide is already ebbed if you follow my meaning. Shut up. Fucking rogue it in. Perhaps you're curious how. Your men carried out their your orders. Yeah, let's see. <clears throat> You'll be pleased to hear that Landonel led the attack with his char uh, characteristic aplomb. What? Dancing among his foes with such speed and ferocity that we were diz dizzying to watch. You're now. Fuck off. Uh, Udon Noodles made full use of his talents in leading the rescue effort. Not a single man, woman, or child <laughs> suffered as much as a scratch. Hold on a minute. Are you telling me that, like, had I done it the other way, someone would have, man, women, or child would have died? <clears throat> I don't know, that's a little dark.
This is a weird cat. Uh, I had my doubts at first, but you passed your first trial as acting captain with flying colors. I mean, whatever. Do it. That'd be funny. You'll still you'll run into him at some point in the story. The battle is over. Did I see? Uh, it says good to see the company of heroes can still live up to its name. I demand answers. Why did you target kind of keep quay? So like, what if right? Because <coughs> like the big story of, of, of Final Fantasy fourteen is hope. That's like the big thing, you know, that like, don't give up hope. Bullshit, whatever. What if instead of asking them for help, the he the heroes were like, "Holy shit, the Warrior of Light is here," and they're fighting the blasphemies. You know, let's let's go help them. I think that's a more interesting story than like, "Oh, well, there's some fucking retired dudes." Like, let's go get them to fight. Like, okay. Are they gonna fight? Well, yeah, because it's a the game where you win. You're the hero. I think it makes more like <clears throat> like so one argument I made throughout in Walker is that well, the reason why we should be fighting more around Eorzea is because our presence alone will help stop a lot of people from turning into blasphemies. Right, the, the moment because like, we're well known acro all across Eorzea, and uh, not don't, not it's not in Othard, right? Like, and Garlemald too. Like we're no, we're well known all over the fucking two continents. So like, and Norvrant, but Norvrant doesn't matter in this. <clears throat> like we're we're so well known that if if people heard found out we were nearby their hopes would, would like be lifted and they would be a lot less likely to become blasphemies. And that's why I was like, we need to have a quest line in this fucking story, in this MSQ, where that's what we do. And then that would have been so much better, right? So it makes sense to me. <laughs> or I think it would have been better had that basically happened here as well, where it's like we're showing up, but things are going bad, uh, but we're holding, we're holding steady. And then these guys are like, you want Y'all fuckers need help? I heard, uh, like, this is our chance to fight alongside the Warrior of Light. And we're needed anyways, so let's fucking, let's get it on, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, I didn't answer why did you target Kanda Keep Quay? Uh, spit your question, filthy shark. Hey, I'll, I'll fucking stab you, dude. <clears throat> I was hoping we might do this the easy way. If you insist, nah, no, nah, you were. You're fucking rugged and you like to kill people. Uh, would you... So you would torture us. The sh you shore walkers are all the same. Savage broods is a lot of you. Torture, please. We are not so uh, uncivilized that as that, my slippery friend. Yeah, but I am. Rayflux shiny treasure will have fishermen trading tongue flaps in no time. <coughs> Dude, he just Rayflux is like my shi my shiny treasure will make you talk in no time, and he fucking waves around his knife. Allow me to explain. Shamani, Lomani, and Brayflox are all practiced in the art of interrogation. <laughs> Shamani is a sharp mind. I'm sure you will have noticed. And a knack for getting information out of uncooperative, uncooperative types with a minimum of fuss. Brayflox, on the other hand, her methods can be unconventional. <laughs> you say the least, but it's hard to argue with the results. Jesus. This is yours to make. <clears throat> okay. Shit. Also, come on, Pokemon reference. God damn it. Bright flock I choose you. If if fishermen will not spit out truthy words, Bray Flock's treat will have fishermen spit out something else. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. What is this? I bet you it's not even going to be, like, bad. So, Val, so preach of the stench. It's probably, like, a drink that sucks. Uh, blech. I'm not, gonna, I'm not doing all that. 
Uh, <clears throat> skinny, sweet of age, gobby cheese is strong. Yes, makes many nose tickles and stomach hurt turns. She's feeding, he's feeding him cheese. Our Finn, uh, friend spirit something up. Our, fi our Finn friend spit something up. All right, though I'd rather he hadn't. Udon noodles said that. <laughs> it, yeah, it's rotten cheese. Uh, I will speak dirty short walkers. Just get that foul poison away from me. Oh, what's up, uh, Smola? I'm gonna ask, why did you target Candle Keep Quay? I couldn't help but notice we made eye contact. Oh, thanks for uh, making eye contact. Here. Dower self gave the order. Himself gave the order. So we must establish a foothold in preparation for our assault on the city. <coughs> All right. He means to attack Glimpse of Limits itself, but with your numbers, that would be folly. Yep. Secret out commands power beyond the comprehension of you short walkers. Fucking racist. I'm happy with my short as fuck Thailander decision. Oh, nice. Uh, we have dealt with Leviathan before. You must understand, Speaker Dao says it is a greater power still the very first being blessed by our Lord. The blasphemy. That's f what? Tell me where Dao is. An island far to the south and east. So southeast, jackass. There he performs the rite that will summon forth divine one and deliver my brothers and I to glory. <clears throat> Thank you for our cooperation and he fucking shoots him. I expect the Dao is hiding out somewhere in the Xil a deserted isle, most likely. I don't know much about these so-called blasphemies, but can they truly be tamed so easily? No, 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 they can't, dumbass. We have no evidence that they can, but we must operate under the assumption that Dao has found a way. No, he, no, he can't. Jesus. I will ready a ship. We set sail for the, for Gardenas. At once, prepare yourself and meet me at the docks as soon as you are ready. You want? You know, you know where they go, where we're going. No, that's not what I wanted. Fucking, I just want the image. <laughs> this is where we're going. Check it out. Uh, I need to open up a browser. Why oh, no, I don't. I need to open up a window. Let me make sure this is done right. <clears throat> oh, yeah, okay. This, <laughs> this is where we're going. We set sail for Cardenas at once. Prepare yourself and meet me at the docks as soon as you're ready. We're gonna go get some beer and fucking tortillas, dudes. Yep. They they have like full on like tortilla factories in that bitch. <clears throat> like they have like a whole assembly line where they just make tortillas all day. <clears throat> and like an entire wall of the store, I guess half wall, is just different fucking tortillas they make. I'll have Shimani and Brave Flux continue the interrogation. In the meantime, our friends might still be hiding something from us. It's a good thing. I'm glad I went with the psycho uh, one. I'm uh, that. Oh, I have to go back to Limsa. Great. 
Oh, I actually do have to go to lower lower decks, so fisherman's gone. Deku slaps. <clears throat> Good. Is everyone here? Yeah, we're all here. Let's go. Let's go shopping. The duty of the strong. All for one. Um, these both suck. Duty of the strong. We'll go with. It's to protect the weak. Funny. It is totally funnier. <clears throat> we meet again, Dow. Where is the blasphemy? Tell us now so we may end its madness. Uh, uh he he he. he. <coughs> I'm just gonna fucking kill it. You realize that, dude, right? You, like, you know that's what's gonna happen. Like, come on. Like, really? That? <clears throat> that thing is scary? <clears throat> Speak of the bloody devil. There it is. The dread beast I saw beneath the waves. The source of our woes. Whoa. Look at me. I'm not even like, ah, was whatever, dude. It's fine. Oh, uh, shit. Are you serious? The echo of all times? Yeah, god damn it. If there were no restrictions in the game, you'd kill it. Yeah, I would. So there's no doubt about that. Defend the commander. All right. So basically, God damn it. Basically, we're finding out like what this who who was this blasphemy, and why Dao is like following it. <clears throat> right, because our all our echo has ever been is just like uh, being able to see into people's past. Like our fucking. <laughs> Her echo sucks. Yeah, it's the queen. She ugly. Fish, I brave. I bring tidings, grave tidings, my queen. The wretched shore walkers poison the minds of my spawn bringers with false words and foul magics. Our poor beguiled brethren renounce <clears throat> Lord Leviathan and name him a false god. They, they treat with limbs of Lominsa and even some call for an alliance. We must summon him that the lost might receive his blessing anew. This I would gladly do had our stock of crystals not run dry. Spawning time is nearly upon us. You, uh, you fight and bicker amongst yourselves. How am oh, God. How might I birth a new brood when my children grow stand still? Stand still. My children grow and stand divided. God damn it. Oh, and that noise. Who dares enter the sacred chamber? <clears throat> Forgive my intrusion, Queen Mother. I speak for this Hagen who is seeking a quarrel with the Shore Walkers. She, she has been eating good. She's been getting all of the tuna. A new age is upon us. Uh, we didn't learn. We didn't needn't turn to false gods, nor foment bitterness and bloodshed in the precious spawning grounds. The Shore Walkers have changed. They endeavor to understand us, to share these lands with us, that they may have peace, and we are spawning grounds. <clears throat> so basically what's happening is both sides are fighting and the mom is like, holy shit, my ki my children are killing each other. I sad now. I become monster. Could this be true? Yeah. Well, like, Do not be deceived by that one's illusions, my queen. He is a heathen who has strayed from Lord Leviathan's light. The Showwalkers are oath breakers now and forevermore. As they extend one hand in friendship, they clutch the dagger in the other. We are beasts in their eyes, deserving of naught but slaughter. <clears throat> Kid fighting? Yeah. Oh, for a blessed moment, I felt the faintest touch of hope. But you are right, Dal. They are demons, and we are damned. 
My for woe, my poor children have lost their faith, their minds poisoned by lies, and they turn away from the Lord of the world and cast a lot with the enemy. I don't think that plan would have worked anyways. The fuck? Tis so, my queen, tis so. We will have no choice but to abandon our sacred spawning grounds and sink to the ocean's floor and rot to rot and decay. The doubt, dearest of my children, you tell them that we have no future. <laughs> I'm going to bring new life into this world knowing that my brood will have their hearts stolen and abandon me. How can I bear that? Yeah, this is what's going on. I mean, it's pretty obvious, right? <coughs> uh, what's happening? Please, my queen, you must calm yourself. Yeah, no, you're fucked. So did he... He knows. Such power, such beauty, a blessing from Lord Levine himself. Does he know? I can't tell. I feel like he knows. Like, he knew the sadness would do this. So this blasts me, eh? I can see what all the fuss is about. Have you wits about you? Good. If you can fight, now is the time. <clears throat> he did trick her into being sad, so he's the one that has to be killed. But you can't, like... Uh, strike now, my queen. Send the short walkers. So, what, what the fuck was the point in getting the Elka right now? This motherfucker was gonna say, Sh "Strike now, my queen," and they're, they're on the list. I mean, I guess it's like we know he's the one doing shit. What's happening? I, can f I can't feel my legs. Oh, the commander's gonna show up. <clears throat> or he's gonna... She's gonna eat this fucker. Uh, why, mother? Wh are we not your children, too? Yeah, she's... That's not mom, dude. That's Medion, my dude. Oh, she should have just eaten them. Commander's gonna show up, watch. You can't mention the commander and then not have him fucking show up. And we cannot weather another blow like the last. Yeah, there he is. You can't show a gun and not have it show up in the last fucking... Act. <clears throat> I still don't know what in the seven hells just happened, but I'll be damned if I'm going down without a fight. All right, can we get a fight? Steady, the beast is feeding off our ether. Will not survive a head on a head-on fight. Glad to know, uh, Udon. Remember the company st stratagem when faced with overwhelming odds. Overwhelm the odds back? I don't. I don't know. Limit break. Let's do a limit break. Retreat, retreat, let's get ourselves the bloody hells out of here. I mean, alright, well. My weapon? Oh, it does look pretty good, doesn't it? It has bubbles, too. <coughs> look, Enrique, I get it. You, you saw somebody? But let's be real. I saw somebody, you didn't. Okay? <clears throat> the fuck is this asshole? Apparently this is the commander. Isn't that the endless expan- It is. It is exactly the weapon you're thinking. Um, it's the closest lance I have to, um, this outfit. Which isn't actually that close. Oh, nice. God, so we don't even fucking get to fight here. Damn it, we've- Better luck holding the tide. Blah blah blah. blah. Lot of, uh, how goes it, friends? Is what I would normally ask, but judging from the muttering, could I did not go too well. 
Probably. You're probably right. We barely skipped our lives. I think the damn beast had the power to stop us in our tracks, literally. I know! What the fuck? It's a deep- it's a melee DPS fucking quest line. And I've only done fighting in half of the goddamn quests. And I'm gonna be honest, the fighting in the first two was dog shit. It was just like, oh, kill this one guy and you're done. What do we know of the creature's origins? Was it once a Sagan as you suspected? May have the echo for it and get some insight. I should make the Gerudo one, huh? Tao's villainy knows no bounds. Sowing seeds of despair in our queen's mother's heart. Queen mother's hearts. Oh, God. That she might transform into that monstrosity. <clears throat> oh, no. I'm sure they're cheap. I think I think I have the mats. Right. So, as I said before, how they should have done this quest line. Is it should have started off with the battle in the spawning grounds, right? <clears throat> then the diplomacy, but somewhere along the line, because of the spawning grounds fight, that's where the queen is like, "Holy shit, my children are fighting each other and killing each other." Like, how like how has it come to this? And that's when she changes, not before the quest starts. <clears throat> I feel like whoever did these is definitely not what's her name. It's, she's it's not fucking um, whoever the writer is. Uh, it's not Ishikawa. I feel like it's not her, and it would make sense that it's not her because like there is so much she had to be working on. Uh, I cannot turn my spirit against the mother who birthed me, let alone take her life. Right, and see, like, this this is where I would expect this to go. Uh, out of curiosity, did anyone see who fired that shot? Were it not for them, we'd all be dead. Did you? I'll have to do that at some point. I know not, but we must formulate a plan and quickly. My scouts tell me that the blasphemy has left the island and now roams the open sea. <clears throat> I will order them to continue the search. In the meantime, we must find a means to uh, overcome the beast's formidable offense. Leave that to us time and again. We'll use our wits and experience to triumph over the longest odds. To defeat our enemy, first you must know your enemy. Tell me, Commander, uh, what do you reckon was the most valuable knowledge we gain gleaned from initial encounter? It's ugly. But we knew this. Like, I I knew this already from the MSQ. And I already... Well, I didn't... I never actually said it, but I... I mean, uh... She transformed. <clears throat> Indeed, if the beast does some memory of what it once was, we may very... Predict its future actions. I mean, possible. <clears throat> but that is not all that we have learned. But the blasphemy can maneuver through the waters and also friggin' caves and the like. Our best chance of defeating it would be in such place. My only chance, I dare say. I'll send scouts to identify any and all large caverns and coastal areas that could serve as a shelter for a massive creature. To ensure the safety of our people and to have any hope for peace with this Hagen, this is a battle we must win. All your strength and wisdom will be needed in the days to come. Dismissed. <clears throat> I mean... I can't say spoilers, but I have done some shit. And, and see, so I like, I like this bit where it's like, okay, Noel is having doubts. Let us share our findings with the Maelstrom, right? Noel, Noel has to die. <coughs> like, not that I want him to, but I think that's like what will make this quest line good. Or at least decent. Noel has to die, right? Like, he has to go into the battle and be like, I are, well, we have to end the battle with him being like, we just fucking killed my mother. Like, holy shit, this fucking sucks. Uh, and then we have to fight him.
to the ass castle. Yeah, uh, Niji was in here earlier saying that the range DPS was kind of shit. <clears throat> now we have seen what the blessed me is capable of ourselves, just more plain to me than ever that it must be slain. All right, good, fine. Let's fucking go. One more quest. I don't want to. I don't want to read this. Uh, that you were saying that the t that the range DPS blast me was dog shit. <clears throat> yeah, it's. Let me let me fix something here. Oh, I get coconut cod chowder. Wow, such. Oh, it's. Oh, fuck. Oh, I forgot that it's not like. It's not skipping levels. So we're only on the second to last quest. God damn it. Also, why is this? This looks like it's a fucking tank icon. <clears throat> I don't even. I don't want to do this, dude. No? Is it any good? This quest thing sucks. Hey, enemy commander, this is a whiskey's. That sounds promising. I'll tell the Admiral something, something. God damn it. Oh, we're going to close to this hole. Yeah, the connection's even worse right now. <clears throat> Dragon and Warrior, right. Well, apologies for having you come all this way. Ever since I encountered with the blasphemy, I've been racking my brain to find a way to deal with it. It's the liberating, the debilitating attack. Sadly, I've come up with empty handed. The canyons fare no better. That's when I started thinking if our only our finest was still with us, he always had a knack for noticing what the rest of us missed. <clears throat> His eyes were so sharp, he could spot a foe's weakness with a single glance. So thanks, it's thanks to him, him that we were able to slay both Leviathan and Titan and live to tell the tale. The rub is, oh, he's a bit eccentric, and yes, I know you could say that about all the company members, but unlike us, he prefers to work from the shadows. To be told, I've not seen him since the day we disbanded. I doubt he'd help his old comrades even if we asked, but an order from the company's acting commander would be a different story. In our heyday, we had a lot... <clears throat> yeah, you have been fucking rambling. Right. I play I'll play I play ten I tend to play most things I enjoy. Here it was, enjoying my retirement. Why do you have to go and bloody whistle? I got to level or even pick up a single melee class. I feel that. Call me Lawrence in the co in the company's resident. Sh I'm the company resident sharpshooter. At least I was in my day. No need to tell me who you are. I've been watching you for quite some time. Creepy. Get the fuck away from me. Don't get me wrong, <laughs> the wrong idea. I'm just curious. Oh, fuck. Not as curious as folks were about me, though. First, whiskeys, and then old Mr. Beard himself, uh, as if those codgers ever could catch me. And I was just storied 
arrow summons me forth. Uh, need to say why you're doing. You're going to ask me to help you take down the blasphemy. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured it was. I'm not asking. I'm ordering you. Uh, you drive a you drive a hard bargain. I like that. I'm who I am to refuse an order from the company's acting commander. So tell me, acting commander, what specific duty would you ask me with? To ask me with? I just you do have a plan. Yeah, kill it. So you need a way to neutralize the beast's most potent attack. I could tell you, like gathering up, getting up close and personal with your fo foes. Yes, yes, I do. So you'd be needing support from a distance. Who do you suppose might be best suited to that role? <clears throat> oh, I'm sure he's a bottom. Merrowib and a twin muskets can handle the job. A reasonable answer, but wrong. I'm pure marksmanship. None of Limsa are the admiral's equal. Yet yeah, Web is ill-suited for the supporting role, not for lack of skill, of course. But rather, come to think of it, there's something you should know. Follow me. I'm a Lalafell. Like, he just, we just... He takes us to a fucking dark corner. We're like, dude, this is sketch as hell. Like, I'm gonna fuck you up if you try to do anything weird. And he just fucking turns into a Lalafell. He's too Lalafell. In a man suit. <clears throat> Why are we coming over here for? God damn it, we're... Oh, it want, he wants us to go up here. I would do. When did I kick him off this cliff? For being Lalafell. Glad to be, wouldn't you say? I've often come here to admire the sea. If you would... Indulge me for a moment and spin ye a uh, yarn. Just try not to doze off. <sighs> she doesn't even let me. Back in piracy's golden age, the League of Fucking Bastards ruled the Ro Rot Rotano. I was one of them, as was Merweb. <clears throat> we were uh, we were led by none other than her old man, her old man, uh, Blowfish, Blowfish, the most feared captain in all the seas. Feared by his enemies, that is, stern and unforgiving though he was, he took me under his wing and showed me the ropes. <laughs> he was uh, like a father to me, to us all, to that fateful day. <laughs> he ate a lot of hell. Oh no, it's not that I'm bad with names, I don't bother with names. It was in the year 1562 of the 6th Astral Era. Uh, Limited merchants, merchantmen were struggling with nigh constant raids above the Sahagan. Around this time, Blowfish had yielded the day-to-day -day leadership of the bastards of Merowe to Merowweb, his pride and joy. He was still, she was still growing into the role, uh, though, and to the into the role, though, and everyone knew the old captain was still calling the shots. Old Blowfish had a noble streak. Oh shit! I didn't mean to skip that. The fighting was fierce, but we always came out of out of it in one piece. Until we didn't. Until after a skirmish, the hog, a Sahagan survivor, with his last breath, summoned forth the Lord of Whirl. The great beast toppled our mass and cra cracked the kneel like an egg. We clambered aboard the merchantman merchant, as our own ship sank. Not to do but wait for the end. But then comes a blowfish and his bleeding flotilla, flotilla out of nowhere and put us all out of out of out the fire and he did but the league of lost bastards would never be the same again for even though we'd escaped with our lives we soon discovered that captain blowfish our iron willed unwavering leader had fallen under leviathan's thrall oh shit <clears throat> that's fucked up of course in those days we didn't know much about drowning or tempering they didn't know what to make of our captain as he grew more angered by the day his words evolved into crazed rambling. Then one day he vanished, take it, taken off with 
half of our men. Not long after, a band of pirates called themselves the Serpent Reavers began taking uh, prizes in the Indigo Deep alongside the Sahagan. At their helm was none other than Captain Blowfish, who cast his lot with the fish bags. Merle Webb knew what had to be done, and to her credit, she didn't shrink from the dead. The deed. She acted quickly, sneaking off under the cover of night with a skeleton crew without so much as telling me. Of course, that didn't stop me from stowing myself in the cargo hold and joining her on the voyage. She had to kill him, but she couldn't, so he took the shot. She was none too happy to see me at first, wanted to leave me out of it, she said. But seeing as I made myself known when she was struggling to fend off a horde of reavers and fish packs, uh, it wasn't hard to win her over. Her twin muskets uh, fill in one after the other as my sharpshooting kept her safe from afar. We cut a path to the center of the aisle. It was there we found Blowfish, or rather the miserable wretch he had been reduced to. All bones with skin uh, shriveled and tangled mat, a white hair, his eyes bulging from his head like a fish as he prayed to the Lord. Damn, it's fucked up, dude. Turn into a fish. Iron wheel fish guy named Blowfish, yeah. Merriweb challenged him to duel, and a dim memory must have flickered in his drowned mind, for he accepted. And so, with only me there to witness it, Merriweb and it. Oh, so she. Oh, it's her dad, okay. Gotcha. Uh, so then they grow up kind of like brother and sister. Uh, League of Bastards would have lived up to its name if it weren't for Meroweb. Uh, she assumed full command and restored us to our former glory. Not long after, she triumphed in the Trident and was named Chief Admiral of Limsa Lominsa. I often think back upon that day, seeing her charge into battle, <laughs> muskets blazing. It might seem reckless to some, but that's how Captain Blowfish taught her and she knows no other way. Right, so all that like good story, but all that story just to say that she likes to rush in anyways. And that's why I made it my job to support her from the shadows, and it's a role Oh shit. My only doubt was whether you, my friend, were worthy of commanding me, but watching you uh, from afar has answered the question. I right, tell Whiskies and the rest of my no good companions that Lorton stands with them. Got dark? It got kind of dark. Is that all? Like, that's the whole quest? That's two quests now, right? With no combat? Did Lauren show himself? I guess he, he revealed something, that's for sure. He asked me to a secluded area and then revealed something. Uh, now there's a surprise. I had some hope your words might reach him. I never did I manage to agree so readily. Uh, just one thing. I'd appreciate if you don't mention Lauren's involvement to, to the company. And I did now in particular. They'll soon, they'll find out soon enough regardless. I bet you there will be more. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, probably. At any rate, this gives us new hope and our battle gets a blasphemy. All that remains is to set the snare and lure the beast into our clutches. Our scouts are on the lookout for the creatures we speak. If the latest reports are to believe, we are drawing ever closer. <clears throat> now with that, I'd best get back to it. Uh, can I trust you to report these? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. This is what I mean, man. Like... This is what annoyed me about Ann Walker. Like, as much as I love the story of Ann Walker, and so much of it was so good, like, this is this is basically Ann Walker right here. This this is 100% what a major part of the uh, story was. Like, just going around talking to people. Like, you know, I get... Oh, shit, where the fuck am I going? I get it, it's a Final Fantasy game, right? Like, I understand... The Final Fantasy, game, Final Fantasy games have a lot of story. I've played several of them on stream and, and finished them, right? I know. I get it. I'm not new to Final Fantasy games having story. 
But you know what they also fucking have? Is goddamn fucking combat. I'm not even, like, none of these are even fucking useful to me. Yeah, that part was amazing. Like, there was so much good about Endwalker, but when it came to actually dealing with the end, the final days, it was kind of shit. Uh, Elpis. Right? Like, the, the, the whole time you're in Thavnair, the second time you're in Thavnir, not the first time. The first time was good. There was nothing wrong with it. The second time you're in Thavnir, fucking 10 out of 10, that part was amazing. But after Thavnir, then you go to fucking Labyrinthos. No, 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 you go to Elpis. Right, you go to Elpis. And... Like, that part was cool. It was weird, it was really jarring to go from, like, the shit we just saw to Elpis. But it was amazing. But then the fucking problem is... Yeah, exactly. We go to fucking space while the world is ending. <laughs> yeah. But like... After Elpis, then we go back to Labyrinthos. And it makes sense that we went back. The problem I fucking had with it is we stayed there way too long. We should have gone, been like, yo, motherfuckers. Like, stop being dicks. Like, help us figure this shit out. And then we leave. And we let we leave the Scions to do what they gotta do. To set up, like, our meeting with... And I can't... We can, I'm not gonna spoil it, guys, because the Dreamer hasn't seen it yet. To not... To not, like... The, to set up the meeting with, you know, the trial, right? And as they're doing that, we go to other places... And we defend Eorzea and Othard from all this terrible shit happening. Right? But there was so much just fucking talking. Like, way too much of it. And that, this is exactly what's happening here. Where it's just, we're just talking. We're not actually fighting anything. Like... <laughs> what the fuck? Like, I can, see the, I can see a lot of talking if it's like the healer... Uh, quest line. Right? Because may maybe we would want to be more diplomatic as healers. Uh. <laughs> or even possibly the tanks. The tanks are more diplomatic. But a DPS that does no combat? The fuck? Three out of five. Uh, at, wait, so the 55 quest, right? Let's see. Um. Let's see, roll quest. We've had fighting here and here, and then these three, no fighting. So three out of five quests so far have been absolutely no fighting. And we'll have fighting in this one, because, like... I mean, hopefully we'll have fighting in this one. Yeah, so, alright, we're instance. Immediately we're going to go into an instance. There we go. The others should be along soon. Let's go. This is a good song. This this is very much a like kill a kill style song. You know what I mean? The last me is still contained within the Sestasha Seagrot. Uh, there will, be, uh, there it will meet its end. N navigator willing. Uh, would that my brothers and I could join you in the fight, and yet blasphemous though it may be, the beast ones wants our mother. Yeah, ex yeah, exactly, right? Like it totally makes sense as a kill a kill song. I understand. No, forgive us for what we must do. Uh, were there a means to reverse the transformation? We would all uh, do all in our power to bring your mother back. Sadly, so there's nothing left to save. See, like, it's so disappointing that the quest before this was not killing the mother. Right? Because, like, 
Because all it had to be was you go kill the mom. And it's like, holy shit, wait, what's after this? All right, we just killed the big bad of this quest line. What do we do now? And you have to kill Noel. And some of his buddies, right? You have to kill the people you just made peace with, right? Because not long before Endwalker, we made peace with the Sagan and all of the other tribes. So, like, imagine that you you have to kill their mother. And now because of what they realize, they become sad. They become into blasphemies. And the final quest is you have to kill your friends, essentially. And that would be fucked up. But it would be a better story than this bullshit. Like, I think like, that, like it's, it makes me sad thinking of that, too. Like, well, it would have been so much better because, like, you really should be feeling the despair in these quests because of what's going on. Uh, were there a means to reverse the transformation? We would do all in our power to bring back your mother. Bring your mother back. Sadly, there is nothing left for her to say. For the future of the Sahagan and Limsa Limits alike, the blasphemy must be laid to rest. And when the deed is done, I would bring your brothers, even the Crushing Tide, aboard the great ship we call Vildbrand. <clears throat> I do not want to slay your mother, but this thing she has become a mindless beast who would enslave and kill her own is an affront to the memory of who she was. It was not her. It is not. Remember this always. You must. I want to ask you to shoulder the burden of a matricide. When the time comes to strike the final blow, I will do the deed. No, I'll do it. I want to kill. Admiral, all you say is true, and yet... <clears throat> what? Who the fuck's calling? Commander, I've signed, sighted a group of fishbacks, crushing tide, most like. Heading straight for the sea grot. You'd best make your way here and fast. <sighs> Time to move out and then he weren't. Let's just fucking go. Let's go. Let, let, come on. Don't go dying on me there. Today in the blast. Don't go dying on me out there. Why was it at that angle? Like, you do that email, but I can't even fucking see the face. Our new commander is sending more and more at the old one. Do you know what oh, she reminds me of? A werewolf. Who? Merrowweb? Yeah, kind of, I can kind of see that. But enough talk, it's time to show the realm that the company of heroes hasn't lost a step. I. I like Brave Blocks. Yeah, no, she's I mean, web's cool though. Like, yeah, she's she's fucking great. We'll stand a better chance of slipping past the crushing tide if we split up and Rick and I will go together while the rest of you take a different route. Wow! She's like, fuck you guys. <laughs> We're taking first class, bitches. Let us brook no further delay to Sastasha. Hydrate? Oh, I actually do have a drink. Thank you. And crack my back for the posture check. Uh, my queen, I uh, beg of you. Try to show your loyal son mercy. Fucking eat him. Slurp time? Yeah. Oh, thank God he's dead. The Indigo Beast. The last of me, the Indigo Beast. <clears throat> I like that this takes place in Sastasha. I'm cool. I like that. It's Dell, or what's left of him. Most of him is still there. Alright? Just the soul part. The life part is what's gone. It's time to fight. Yeah, finally. No, first we're going to have a lot of dialogue. Uh, Speaker, Speaker Dell, why would our queen do such a thing? Uh, it is, as the short walkers say, what we thought a blessing is in truth, a terrible curse. Wow. Now you figure. It's so convenient they figure it out now. The horror. We must away at once. And leave the short walkers to face our queen mother alone. You know, I will stand with them. You mustn't sully your hands with the blood of your mother. Go and be with your kin now. Go. Uh, fish, forgive me. It's like so. I've never seen this place so lit up. Oh, 
I was beginning to think you wandered off a cliff. Oh, he didn't wander off, but he almost got pushed off. <clears throat> Must you say it like that? I prefer to think of myself as fashionably late. No. But enough talk, it comes. It's just standing there. I think we would. I agree. I think we would be good friends. There we go. That's better. Yeah, it is. It's not the Shutterbringers on. It's the Endwalker mid-boss theme. But that's a good one to. Oh, I think you're you're suggesting that one. That is another really good one. Now it's getting good. I am still doing this wrong, <coughs> but whatever. This song makes this fight so much better. No, not map. How did that come up? Oh, probably because I hit Y. Uh, I need heals. Holy shit. I just barely got healed there. What are you shooting at? Where to go? Best be wary. Uh, I want to see. Oh shit! Okay, never mind. Whiskey is reporting for duty. I, I, it's like uh, it's hard to read, like all the dialogue that's going on. Even though it's like right in front of me too. Dude, that fucking attack Meryl Webb's got is so cool. Just watching it go off. Annihilation flare. All right, is this a thing? No, I don't, yeah, I don't know where I'm gonna play that.
Look at me just sitting there. Oh, it's one of those. Can I move like, oh, I can't move the dialogue boxes. Let's go ahead and save my like buffs. Uh, bless me, open the ether. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, me too. But like, did I get it? Did I actually get the buffs? Yes, yes, I did. All right, cool. So that's all it was. I needed to be next to the buff. Yeah, we got this. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, did you see how much HP I had? Very Fox feels out cheat. Wait, what's going on? The, there's enough ether to go blast this entire island. We better work fast. Yeah, fucking for real, dude. <coughs> uh, I stand with you. Noel with the call me sees. Oh, it's Noel. There we go. Holy shit, what the fuck? You're not doing anything. You're not doing any damage. The winds favor us. He didn't say that with enough, like, you know, says a little harder. Jesus Christ, look how fucking close it is. I ah, will kill it. It goes super, super slow, though. Oh, I know the voice. The squeakiness. We got no more music, though. It's all twitchy. I wouldn't ask for, I will not ask for your forgiveness, but this I promise you, you will be remembered for the mother you were. Admiral, I have no words. What if she just kept shooting? What if she just kept blasting, dude? It's gone. Your vocal, yeah. Yep. My queen mother returns to the depths. In no, no. See, that's 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 no, actually. Oh my god, they don't know. They they don't know. <coughs> um in uh we know from the MSQ that uh when you're stole when um when you do the dungeon in Savnair, 
The Ashtola can't see their ether, which means that they have no ether, which means they don't go back. They don't go back to the ethereal sea. So that's not even true. With your strength, you could have crushed us easily. Why did you spare our lives? They just, yeah, they just fucking die, dude. The beasts and blasphemies are born from despair in our hearts, but no more. I would break the cycle. Though Dao may have been blind to it, I believe in the future where, in a future where Sagan and Limson live in harmony. <clears throat> there has two months. Yeah, for reals. See, that's what I mean, though. Like, <clears throat> well, I guess it is like you can you can have it both ways. You can still have be like, um, no, they don't fucking go back to the ROC, but these fuckers wouldn't know that, right? <laughs> they just look at that. Yeah, for reals. Uh, Kingdom Hearts no not allowed FFF and just, just fuck it. I, uh, even after losing who she was, your queen made for your spawning grounds, and it is there she drew her last breath. <clears throat> I didn't know this was her spawning grounds. When your next queen is crowned, know that she will have a safe place to raise her young. Once you have selected a suitable location, Limsa Lamensa will recognize and honor your claim. What if they just take a Limsa? A promise for which we are grateful, Admiral, but what of the other peoples of Vildbrand? The kobolds are open to the idea. The details will need to be negotiated, but I am confident we can reach an agreement. Sahagen, Sahagen, Kobold, and Lemonson alike yearn to abide in peace. We can make it so. I have never fought alongside Shore Walkers before, but I must say it felt good. Uh, we have fought our neighbors for generations. It has... It has... One us only suffering in tragedy. I beg of you, lay down your spears. <sighs> It'll take time and effort to bridge the gulf between our peoples, but bridge it we shall. So many, like, C <laughs> words here. <clears throat> He's trying to get away. What an asshole. I just said we have a lot of talking to do as well, don't we, Commander Lorenz? You bitch. Jesus, fucking brave fox. Oh, Landon now. <clears throat> if you'd just allow me to explain, he took all the money. Uh, let's be off before they drag us into this mess. Yeah, no shit. <clears throat> uh, perfect timing, acting commander. You must save me from this bloodthirsty bastard. <laughs> well, well, Lawrence. Oh, should I? Can I? I don't think I can put the music on uh, back on. Nope. Well, let's hear your excuse, and it had better be a good one. Why in the seven hells were you skulking around about in the shadows? Why well, we did all the work? Like, you'll not be any happier if I'd show myself sooner. I can hear you whining now. What, you didn't think we could handle all this on our own? I don't... I don't want to keep going with this. Oh, the future of the company hung in the balance. I waited and waited and waited some gods and more. And you never turned up. But now... But I've got you now and I will have satisfaction. Oh, weird. Given Lauren's per penchant for later rivals... I couldn't help to worry, but worry too, to say he cut a fine, cut a fine, it would be an understatement. I don't even know what he said. And not by choice, as usual. My scouts have observed him rubbing near Costa del Sol not long ago. It would seem our commander's woeful sense of, of direction has not improved in the least. I'm honestly surprised you never realized, Landonel, that that was to blame for his extreme tardiness. That the commander did indeed arrive at the agreed upon location for your duel. After the sun had risen and set a half dozen times. What? 
Navigator, take me. Shamani, uh, you pr promised that would stay between the two of you. Ah, uh, Brave Locks, you have a kind word or two for your old commander, don't you? <clears throat> commander Lawrence, commander, no more. New commander, friend, to gobbies everywhere. Does many sweat works for gobby kind. Um, I don't care. Well, uh, he calls him a coward. This guy says you know him better than him. <clears throat> Something like that. Are uh, they going to fight? They're not going to fight. It's a bone spear. <laughs> Hard to believe he was once the glue that held this merry band together. That's right. If you hadn't recognized the obvious, Lawrence is our former commander. Yeah. Oh, fuck. All right. Just that fucking comment alone. I'm like, I'm out, dude. I'm done. Shit. <clears throat> oh, God damn it. Brave Flux wants busy work. Brave Flux awaits Uplander's lap. Uh, let the coming years be disbanded. Really? Like, that's that's what's going on? Brave Flux uses heavy art, but accepts Uplander's busy words. All that just to disband, huh? <clears throat> I have responsibilities of tribe that wants our guidance and protection. All right. Like, sorry to say, but these aren't really characters I care about at all. <clears throat> because they it was so long ago that we've ran into these characters. I don't did I didn't know they fucking existed except for Brave Flocks. Well, that's not even true because even with Brave Flocks, I, I don't fucking remember that character existed. Aside from the fact that there was a, a dungeon. So the moment I saw Bray Flox's name, I'm like, oh, this is probably fucking from the dungeon. The character that gives you the dungeon. But, <clears throat> like, I don't know these characters. It is it is cool. I, I do like that they brought them back. Uh, I think that's a, that's a good idea to bring them back. Uh, even momentarily. But, like, there are Realm of Born characters. I just don't actually care about the part where me caring about the need to happen was during this quest line not the last little bit here i'm done I'm, i don't want to do this quest line anymore <clears throat> no sorry i'm fucking done ugh after in the sun drop I have to go over here. Yeah, like... It just wasn't a good glass line. Like, the ending tank time... No, I'm not gonna do... I'm not gonna do more. That shit takes so long. With, like, the threatening amount of talking that there's going to be, I don't want to do another fucking quest line. And I only did three of the quests today. But I will be doing, I will be doing the tank one soon. <clears throat> it's not right now. Alright, let's go home. We have some other shit to run. Oh, it's Jerome. Uh, I don't think I have. Uh, come over to the, the FC house. <clears throat> oh, you're in Thorn March. <clears throat> 